So today I actually have some major updates in the whole Jackson Mahomes situation for you guys. You know, if this boy Jackie Mahomes had stock out there on the stock market, it would be soaring down into the ground like FaZe Clan. First off, I have this clip for you guys from around two weeks ago when Jackson was first bailed out of jail. I believe his bond was around $100,000, so you know he had to call up that boy Patrick, he was begging him for forgiveness, and he was also like, by the way, I'm gonna need that cool 10000 so you can get me the hell out of here. I got this guy over here in the corner and he's really creeping me out. And so this is him after posting bail. Looks like he had a very long night to me. What would you like to say to the victims? Keep going, keep going. Do you have any reaction to be to be facing three felony charges? Excuse us. And does anyone else love how they just gave Jackson the world's smallest bodyguard? Like, is this their cousin or something? He's wearing the Patrick Mahomes Oakleys. We can't talk right right now. Thanks. Keep pushing. Keep walking. Anything you want to say to the victims of these crimes? You know, if you was the real black dude, they would arrest you a long time ago. <laughs> Let's replay that one time just for the memes. You know, if you was the real black dude, they would arrest you a long time ago. <laughs> and you know, that's how a lot of people kind of felt about the situation because uh, him being taken into custody did take quite a bit of time. I mean, there's nothing quite like leaving jail in your Range Rover. Am I right, guys? He's like, am I still going to be able to do TikTok? He's like, dude, I don't know. I'm just the bodyguard, okay? They paid me $50 in a pack of hot Cheetos. Look at him. He's too short to see over the thing, man. And the other thing I found peculiar about this whole situation is the fact that they let him leave jail in a uh, polo shirt, an ironed polo shirt, and some ironed khakis. You know, personally, I wanted to see him in the orange jumpsuit, but hey, I guess that's just me. And like I said, that was around two weeks ago. And now we actually have some more information apparently from the court filings. On Monday, Johnson County District Judge Thomas Sunderland ordered the release of a redacted copy of the police affidavit which states Jackson grabbed Aspen Vaughn by the throat, forcing her head back and kissed her and put his tongue in her mouth three times without consent and then told her not to tell anyone. And you know, by now we've all seen the video. I really can't show it to you guys because apparently YouTube doesn't like it. Vaughn, 40 years old, who is the owner of the Aspen Restaurant and Lounge, told police that Jackson told her he needed to speak with her in the office, located in the lower level of the restaurant, and that he closed the door once they were inside. I mean, it sounds like a pretty creepy situation off the bat. And keep in mind, the whole time she's just thinking, oh, there's one of my stepdaughter's friends. He then grabbed her by the throat, forcing her head back, and kissed her, and put his tongue in her mouth, alleging that Jackson repeated the act two more times seconds apart. Yeah, this is all on par with what we've seen in the video. When Jackson left the office, Vaughn showed two servers, whom she claimed did not hear her when she called out for help, her neck which had fresh signs of injury. Both employees confirmed that account to police. At one point, Jackson returned to the office trying to explain what he could do for her business, according to the affidavit, which noted Jackson has a large social media following. So not only was this guy in her office on this creeper time, but then he's also allegedly trying to like, I guess, bribe her or kind of like persuade her to do things with him. Talking about, oh, you don't know the things I could do for you and your business. Like if some sort of vouch or shout out from Jackson Mahomes is valuable at all at this point. Like no one's gonna be going to your high-end restaurant because Jackson Mahomes suggested they do so. If anything, if Jackson suggests I should go somewhere, I'm steering clear of that business for the rest of my life. Jackson was reportedly angry when he and his group of friends were eventually told to leave the restaurant. Additionally, in the redacted affidavit, the waiter who chose not to be identified spoke with police on the night of the incident and said he had gone to the office on the lower level of the restaurant to retrieve his water bottle. The waiter entered the code and was barely through the door when Jackson allegedly pushed his chest and told him not to come in. And then they say the waiter then told Jackson he was an employee and needed his water bottle, and that's when Jackson allegedly pushed the waiter a second time and told him to get out. I mean, can you guys imagine just being in that situation? 
You're just at work doing your thing. This loud group of people come in. They're being very disrespectful. They're walking all over the restaurant, acting like they own the place. And then you're just going into the back. You're going into the break room trying to get your water bottle. And then there stands Jackson Mahomes. He's like, you're not getting through this door, buddy. You're not getting through this door. I'm still on my creeper time. I mean, I would straight up look up and entice this man to punch me right in the face. Like, Jackson, I'm trying to win that Patrick Mahomes sweepstakes like you did. At least before you ruined your whole cash cow. And the reason I say that he ruined the cash cow is because of this cryptic Instagram post from Patrick Mahomes' wife, Brittany. As we all know, Jackson and Brittany have pretty much been best friends for years now, and they're almost always pictured together at every single NFL event. And she was definitely one of the main people who always went out of her way to publicly defend Jackson and tell people that they didn't understand his life, that they didn't understand him, and that all these quote-unquote haters just needed to shut their mouth. When all people were really saying was that he was always out of control and that he was always acting very entitled based on these stories that were coming out in the press, while he always wanted to play the victim. And look where that got us now. I mean, I hate to call this an I told you so moment, but it totally is. So she shared this on Instagram. As you get older, you start to understand the difference between friends and associates. That's you, Jackson. Family and blood. That's you, Jackson. Business and work. That's you, Jackson. Love and lust. Want and need. And most of all, what's important and what's not. You're no longer important, my guy. She then says, unfortunately, a lot of y'all met me when I lacked boundaries and was a people pleaser. Let me reintroduce myself. I burn bridges as needed. Ooh! It's over for you, bro. Keep in mind, this was like a shared post, so she didn't actually type this, but it kind of tells you where her mindset is currently at. She did write this down here. She says, sheesh. She's clapping those hands. Sheesh, dude, it's over. You know, Patrick's getting out of his workout. He was just lifting weights for a couple hours. He goes to check his phone. He's checking, oh, my wife has a new story. Let's see what she has to say. And then he sees this and he's like, would y'all all all just please shut up? I mean, at this point, if she wants to choose to distance herself from Jackson, even if it's just publicly to protect her brand and her image, she is totally within her right to do so. But I will say in a lot of ways, she did enable this behavior and defend him at every turn when people were trying to call him out in the past. Like right here, there's how she used to talk about these haters. They are ignorant, Matthew's row in her response. He is a human just trying to live his life and find his way. And until you walk a day in his shoes, which no one ever will, you have no right to say crap about him. So it's best to just shut up. You know, imagine he gets up there on the stand. Jackson, we sent you to three years in jail and 20 years of no cell phone and internet access. I also command your brother to send two signed Super Bowl jerseys to my house immediately. This case is over. For real though, y'all let me know what you guys think about this latest update in the Jackson Mahomes saga. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as y'all know, it's been your boy the tan Superman and some other dangers to society out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. You know if you was the real black dude, they would arrest you a long time ago.